Hello, everybody. Welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is the 15th of April 2016. Our discussion is going to be on hail. We know that in Exodus 919, quick, bring in your cattle from the fields, for every man and animal will be left in the fields, will die beneath the hail. In Joshua 1011, and as the enemy was racing down the hill to Beth Haran, the Lord destroyed them with a great hailstorm that continued all day to Azekah. In fact, more men died from the hail than with the swords of the Israelites. Psalms 18:12. Suddenly the brilliance of his presence broke through the clouds with lightning and a mighty storm of hail. Revelations 8, 7, the first angel blew his trumpet, and hail and fire mixed with blood were thrown down upon the earth. One-third of the earth was set afire, as that one-third of the trees were burned and all the green grass. So we know that hail hit here a few days ago uh, on the 12th, here in Texas. It hit pretty hard and there was a lot of damage to many people. Now for myself, there was a lot of damage. I have a car that could be totaled, a house that has many holes in it, and another car, even though it's drivable, it still looks like it's been riddled like a machine gun hit it. But this is not bad, necessarily a bad thing. It's a test of faith because God has given us faith and He will provide and care for us as he does always. The hail we received was only the third largest in the area. If you think of the hail that happened back in Egypt during the time that the Israelites were going to be released, it was a lot worse. The hail that was came down during Joshua's time, it killed people more so than the swords. Many of us weren't prepared and aren't prepared for God and what he will do for us in the last days. I want you to think about this. Even though it was a terrible hailstorm, we still can't get through it, and we need to hang, it, hang on to our belief in God, and he will get through it. Thank you, and have a blessed day.